ואלה משפטים אשר טוסים לפניכם. מוזס is told, these are the laws, which he then says to the Jewish people, these are the laws which you will practice, Hashem says, which you will place in front of them. Now, the term mishpatim is one category of law. It means that area of law that is actually quite intelligible. There's a whole other category of Jewish law called chukim, which is totally unintelligible. A mere handful. We don't really understand the nature of mikveh, how that purifies the body. We don't really understand why kashrut is the particular food form that our soul can elevate. They're called chukim. Then there's an intermediate category, edus. Laws, which we wouldn't have come up with, but once we have them, they're reasonable, like Shabbos, seventh day of rest. So why have in the Torah intelligible laws which we could come up with? Answer, the human capacity to be able to rationalize intelligent laws and make them non-existent. How many people rationalize murder? How many nations subjugate others? All reasonably, they're all reasonable people. But were they to accept the divinity of the Torah and these category of laws called Mishpatim, under those circumstances, they would not allow themselves to go over the edge.